this will be in your backyard. You got some dilapidated cars and RVs. Uh, gonna be more tiny homes going up on, on this lot right here. And that'll be in the back of your house. And I will say, I will say that the neighborhood we drove through to get here was not the nicest, not to be judgmental, but it was not the nicest neighborhood uh, getting here. Aaron, what do you what do you say when you see stuff like this being built? This is going to be the future. They just everything keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And I mean, there's people that are going to love to own one of these. And that's just the times we live in. Uh, people are broke, and this is all that they can afford. So, uh, all right, well, let's, let's continue uh, and check this out. Let's check out uh, one of these slabs up here. So I just want to walk up here and show you one of the slabs of these homes. These homes are, uh, according to the uh, website, we're looking at 350 square feet. This is about... Get, this stand on that, Aaron. This is half the size... Stand of, on that. This is half the size of a garage. Yeah, it's... Uh, like a one-car garage yeah it's like a one-car garage maybe huh but but mo but man I, mean, I don't even know if you could even park your, your truck on this thing man our, I mean this is the size of an RV maybe even maybe even smaller yeah it's not very wide Matt what uh what comes to mind looking I mean look at this across the street What comes to mind is my office is bigger than this house but you will like this you'll eat bugs and uh, you will live in your tiny home yeah, welcome mm -hmm. to the future. So this is uh, the neighborhood behind your tiny home. And a bunch of uh, old cars over there. And look at these power lines in your backyard. How, how do you like that? I mean, what do you think about living, you know, 30 I'm feet? Sure, I'm sure they'll bury those. <laughs> I'm sure they'll bury those power lines. Yeah, that, yeah, that sure. Be an issue. Yeah, they, yeah, those are... <laughs> Those are tiny, aren't they? Man, could you imagine? I mean, there's literally like over 20 lines of power running 30 feet from your house. Well, hey. They're going to build another 100, 200 of these things. So, JB, what's crazy is when uh, my family moved to Texas back in, I think it was 85 or 83, uh, my parents bought a, I want to say it was probably 17, 18, 1800 square foot house for $100,000. Mm -hmm. And it was on a half acre. So now look how much the dollar has been. Yeah value to yeah. where look uh, what it a uh, hundred thousand what well, it starts at a hundred thousand well no so, we're starting at one well 133,000 is where they're starting right according to the website okay, JB, you can see on this angle yeah the yard is not that big there's the completed ones yeah the fence yeah we'll so check one of those out you don't get any any yard at all you're not getting yeah. any land obviously if you're right in a tiny house so apparently things are not bigger in texas from what we're seeing out here right things are not bigger in texas any longer now it's all about how small things are. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. I mean, you can't really appreciate you, it until you get here, right? You, I, I mean, we said we had to yet. see this in person. Yeah, you can't really appreciate just how small they really are. I mean, these are two-story houses, so that each story must be what 150 square feet, 175, 175 yeah. square feet. That's unbelievable. So I don't know if they have bigger ones, but I, but they all look the same size. And the website said 350 square feet. But Matt's right. Like you can't really appreciate or understand this until you actually. When we were driving up and saw this from a distance, it, it was shocking. So you really can't appreciate it till you actually get here and walk it. So I'm glad we were able to uh, find this place and, and uh, shoot some video here and check it out. It's really unbelievable. Well, there's a wastewater lake on the other side here. Yeah, that's another thing too. There's a, like a wastewater lake on the other side. So uh, I don't know if that's going to ever be a flooding issue or if there's any no, kind of... Uh, those for 10 grand more. That'll be the lake view side. Lake, oh, the lake, lakefront issue. Yeah, so you can watch sewage drain down past your house i don't know maybe maybe it's a clean maybe it's clean water well, i hope it is neighborhood. people are actually living here there, there are people already here yes yeah. yes yeah this place is they're busy i mean they're pounding nails they're framing houses they're laying concrete they're grading more lots i mean it, it's it's really unbelievable what's going on here and they're probably going to sell every one of them remember today 7.61 percent on a 30 year
so also what's um look yeah someone's living there you they don't even room. you don't even get a garage in these homes oh there's no, more over no, here no, no. Go, go left yeah yeah go left let's check it out you don't even get a garage What's coming to your mind right now? It's an open house. We're excited. Yeah. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Right. I mean, the tour is not going to take more than about 32 seconds. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll follow you in. There you go. Okay. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh, so now this is the upstairs. That's the loft. Okay. So you climb up this. Yes, sir. But it's okay. not included in the square footage. Okay. Because it doesn't have a heating cooling system here. Okay. Oh. But the majority of my buyers have put their own up there and they're utilizing. So this is it okay to record you or sure. okay? So so I'm you're recording next week anyway. Rhonda. Rhonda. Okay. Rhonda. So you're working with Lennar. Yes. All right. So this unit right here, 350 square feet. Yes, sir. Okay. But it's only counting the downstairs. The downstairs. This does not count because it doesn't, doesn't have, have heating. heating. And cooling. Okay. And it is 144 approximately square feet. Okay. Okay. And the lot size. The lot size is 20 feet wide, I'm not sure of the length, but you've got okay. approximately 18 feet from the back of the house to the fence. Okay, and how many units will they be building here? We're going to be building 97 in all. All right, so about 100. You're right. Um, yeah, we were here, we came in from California. Okay. And we saw it on a, um, in, in some news, and I was like, well, we're going to be at my buddy's house here, which was about 20 minutes away. Uh -huh. So we said, we got to come see this, because yeah. we've never seen anything like this. So this is the first in the San Antonio area. Okay. So Lenar okay. is the first to build a tiny little community, and I imagine we'll be building more, but I haven't been told anything. So okay. All right. And I'm sure they're selling. Yeah. They have two floor plans, right? Two floor plans. We had two floor plans. Oh, these are gone. These are gone. And how many of these were there? I'm not sure how many were in this community, but we had some in another community that had other bigger plans with it. Okay. And um, so, so I'm these, not are, sure. these are all spoken for here in this. In this yes, area. except this model, and it'll be a little while for And there's thing. what's the starting price? Let me check the price. Okay, I'm gonna just check. I'm gonna climb up this a little bit. Can you hold that? Yeah, could you hold that? Thanks, Matt. You got it. So I actually have Be careful. <laughs> Matt, this is not for you. If you've had a couple cocktails, no. you're gonna no. be in bad shape. No. So, okay, a little warm up here. Okay. Uh huh. He did a, oh really? Oh, yeah. that could be nice. That's pretty awesome. So then you increase the living, well, you actually increase the living area then. Oh, yeah. He did, and he put a closet in up there too. Okay, let me run this report and I will tell you. Okay. I've been walking around other stuff, so I don't know. I bet you're busy. Yeah, you gotta be. These things are. Nice little kitchen. It attracts a lot of attention. Yeah, it attracted us. What Lenar is doing for the buyers right now is buying down the interest rate. Mm -hmm. If it were a primary residence, I could probably get you at 4.5. Okay. That's the average. Okay. If it's an investor, I have to get that from the loan officer, okay. but we do buy it down a little bit for the investor also. Now, let me ask you And we cover 2% of the price of the home towards a closing cost. Okay, where's the restroom? Is there a restroom here? Uh, is it around the corner? We're, okay, we're, that. That oh, it's right here. It's in the back, oh. right here. Let's film that. Yeah, that's a good question. Like, you said, is it around the corner? Right the corner. <laughs> All right, so it's back here. There, there's the there's a bathroom. Yeah, a little shower right here. And this your laundry would be back here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you know, it is functional. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is. Um, better, do a little, uh, better than rent an apartment. That's yeah. Exactly right. yeah. And yeah. I can get these for a primary, I can get these under 1200 still per month. The Henry floor plan. Do right. you want to go take a look at that one? Yeah, well, we're, we're here. We're, we're we, we, we flew 1,100 miles. We might as well check it out. Okay. You might want to, uh, you might want to work with that. Okay. Get on the ground. Oh, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll come out here and take your time. Let me get this. Let me get this door. Okay, so... So, I mean, that's a great point. It is cheaper than rent. So, but does I mean, that justify this? I mean, I, I have a hard, I mean, look at this. Welcome home. This is, this is your home. And I mean, it's built like a shed. I, I, I mean, no, no disrespect. I mean, there are some positives, right? It right. is the same or less than an apartment, brand new. That, or um, would you rather be at a trailer park mm -hmm. or live in here? I mean, it's probably about the square, same no. square footage. Well, I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, okay, well, let's check out uh, with Rhonda the next one. 
Thanks uh, for giving us your time. Absolutely. Right, this is the Henley floor plan at 661 square feet. Oh, 660, feet. okay. It's one bedroom, two bathroom with a great loft area. Okay, let's check it out. How many are sold now? We're about 25%. 25%. Yeah, I have no doubt you're going to sell every one of them. You know how much attention we've gotten. You're going to get more after this video. I was at a company function mm -hmm. and someone called me and saw my number on the door. And what they want, they have five acres. They're wanting to partner with Lennar. Whether we do it or not, I don't know. Yeah. But they're wanting to partner with Lennar to do another. You'll, you'll get some calls from this video. This is 660 square feet. Yeah, 660. It looks bigger. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. That is the bedroom. This is the bedroom. And bathroom right here. Okay. Is upstairs now, or is it still? No, the is the same. All right, and, and Rhonda, the, the lot size on this one? 20 feet wide, I'm not sure. Okay, we don't know the depth, the okay. The backyard depth is approximately 18 feet. Okay. Okay. Same way out in here? Yeah. So Whoa. We have a mini split in there, and you have a mini split here, too. And these are excellent at keeping things cool. Yeah, yeah, that's all you need. Okay. Hey, JB, you got a bathroom? Yes, oh, so we got two bedroom. bathrooms. Oh, so this can actually be a third-ish bedroom, maybe? Second-ish. Loft, a loft. I would put my bedroom over here, for sure. Okay. So, boy, compared to the first one, I feel like we've, uh, we're have we really getting, we're re upgraded, it's much roomy. Right? We've really upgraded, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put in an offer. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's the second bathroom in here. second bathroom, water heater here. Now, okay. this is a full size water heater, but we did the squattier, wider one. Okay. Okay. And you have plenty of storage under there. Okay. And this one is starting out how much? Roughly. Mm -hmm. One. 160. 160 ish. Okay. Don't, don't no. hold around at that, but roughly. Give me your information and I'll get all the information. Okay. And if anybody wants to get a hold of you, uh, has questions or wants to come down here to see anything, how do they get a hold of you? Well, I'm here from 9.30 to 6.30 on most days, and my number is 303-589-9109. And give me the address of the development here. 7218 Elm Cove, Converse, Texas. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, Rhonda. Thank well, you. Tell me your name again. I'm Matt. Matt and... Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Okay. So, so all right, we're going to walk through the backyard here. Check this out. Oh, God. Okay. Can you put a? Yeah, you so, can probably put an in-ground pool back here. Yeah. A little kiddie pool. Little yeah. Splash. Splash park. I mean, I guess you could do do something with it. Will she splash you back there? You can have your uh, your prep garden back here. Yeah, your you put your yeah, big great, garden back great here. Catchment your, system. Very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, it's fascinating. It really is. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. You know, it may be an option for people, uh, but it is it is different, that's for sure. To think that now starter homes are 350 to 600 square feet versus the old, you know, 1,000, 1,200. But we were at a time where a lot of, we've been living in a time where starter homes now for people are 3,000 square feet. So we've gone from one extreme, maybe back to another.
So I, I believe Rhonda said that uh, your payment roughly on, on one of these houses is going to be about twelve hundred a month. Matt, uh, what do you what do you think? Seven percent. Yeah, about twelve hundred. Doable for something. Yeah, doable. I mean, it, 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 I tell you this, it's an option. It's it's savage going this direction. Yeah, but yeah. Having that, but, having that venue, JB. Yeah. Actually, an option for, for people. Yeah, no, it really is an option. Right. Here. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess we're just we're ha we're going to see more limited options. I guess. I mean, this is it. I mean, living in a. I, I mean, it looks like a, a, a shoebox, but um, you know they're going to sell them, no matter what anybody says about them, like them, hate them, or anything in between. They're going to sell every one of those things because most people are running out of options.